So we just went over how to make the biofuel itself, and now I'm going to show you the, re the actual reactor. So uh, this one's actually pretty easy. Just go like that. I need my heavy machine frame. I'm just going to line this up three like that. And then you're going to put your radiator blocks on the back. So do the same thing for the next layer. This, this one's just going to be too tall. And then go with the next layer. So you'll end up with a 3x3 three three standing up. Then all you have to do is click the center there. And there you go. You've got your uh, biodiesel generator. I think these are outputs here. I haven't tested it yet. but And there's a power switch just like the uh, three, uh, refinery. So you can shut this thing off with redstone signals. And yeah. So let's see if we can. Here it is. Uh, on each side, you've got your, your ports for putting fluids in. I wonder if this will work. Right, let me go grab a. So we're inserting the biodiesel into our thing here. Next we gotta see if it's actually producing power. Oh there we go. <laughs> it started making noise. Holy crap. Nice. It's producing an enormous amount of energy, so biodiesel is well worth it. And I'm pretty sure that if you hook these up to your squeezers and all your other stuff in your farms, it will more than uh, compensate for the loss of running the refineries and those, all those machines I showed in the last video. So this thing is well worth the build. It's a bit expensive and uh, time consuming, but in the end, if you could get a few of these running, you will be set for uh, power for quite a while, I think. And it doesn't look like it's burning all that much uh, biodiesel, so that is very cool. So yeah, that's the biodiesel engine.